Okay, I want to talk a little bit about my pick hand too. Um, it's 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 very hard to define this for people. I know in private lessons, I I, I struggle sometimes to be able to to make them understand where you want to have your pick hand. But the basic concept, well, there's two basic concepts. One is you don't want your hand just floating free and, and, and moving all over the place on you because then you're going to be hitting wrong strings, okay? We'll talk about that. The second concept is muting, okay? Using this hand, using your pick hand to control volume and to control open strings and control notes so that they're not ringing out all over the place on you, okay? So let's talk first about placement, okay? Um, and some of these actually go together. Um, placement, though, a lot of people, a lot of good guitar players, especially a lot of classical guitar players, will anchor their hand by putting their pinky down on the neck or on the on the pick guard. They might even put more than one finger down, and they use that as a stand for their hand, and they use it to anchor where their hand is. And I notice that in my life, I've I've worked on it. And I go in and out of it. I'll put it down sometimes without even thinking about it, and then I'll lift it back up. But, you know, it's, it's a great idea, if you've never thought about this, to put your pinky down there to help you stabilize where your hand is so your hand's not floating free and moving around on you too much, okay? So there's one concept. The second concept is that sometimes you might actually lay your hand right down on the strings, and if you're playing electric guitar and you're playing really loud, then hey, you can put your hand down on the strings and still get all the tone you want. In fact, you'll probably get a little bit better tone if you're playing really loud by putting your hand, and I put this part of my hand, people call this the heel of their hand, I tend to have the heel of my hand on the strings quite often, not all the time, but quite often. And it's across largely all six strings. I can feel all the strings underneath me, and, and I've got the access to, to be playing stuff there, and I will will keep it there at times and lift it up. I've got my hand down on the strings right now while I'm playing this. And it's not interfering with those notes. Okay, I've lifted it right there. I lifted it off the low string to hit that low note. But here I've got it pressed down on the low note. It sounds fine. You know, it's deadening my note there a little bit, so I'll lift it a little, but I'm still keeping it down on the low strings. Get used to playing with your hand. Get used to putting it down there on the strings to, to help you, especially if you're the kind of person that plays real loud. If you're in like a metal band, you really want to use that to control yourself. And a lot of guys, like Metallica come to mind, for instance. You know, James Hetfield uses that hand as a huge part of his tone when he's playing those big chunky rhythm chords. It's, he's, got his, he's got his amp cranked so loud, but his hand down there. Without his hand there, the amp would be going crazy with, with feedback and extra notes. This is a really essential part of his tone, is to just be damping like that. It's cool. It sounds really cool. So get used to that, okay? Get used to putting it in there somewhere like that. And or the anchor and a combination of the two, all right? And that'll help you out a whole bunch, all right? I hope that helps you with your picking a little bit.